For our game recommendation this week, we are looking at probably one of the best platformers ever made for the PS2. Yes, that's right. It's the Jack and Daxter HD Collection, and it's by those brilliant minds at Naughty Dog. Now, for the longest time, I've been waiting for this collection to come out, because it really is the game that put Naughty Dog on the map with its fantastic gameplay, great writing, and comical heroes. With the collection, you get all three Jack titles. Jack and Daxter The Precursor's Legacy is the oldest, and its graphics can look a little dated, but it still serves as a great platformer. Jack 2 Renegade looks gorgeous and the gameplay is more dynamic with bigger open worlds and weapons. Jack 3 looks just as good if not better and is a perfect blend of both games with some of the best writing for any kind of platformer. With all three you'll have plenty of orb collecting, villain smashing and puzzle solutions to do. Not to mention laughing your head off at some of Daxter's reactions. Step 1. Stay alive. Step 2. Think about not doing something like that again! That's probably the best feature of Jack and Daxter, is that it has this perfect balance between action and comedy. Now, the characters are entertaining, but what I really liked about Jack and Daxter is that each game goes in its own direction. There's always this unique twist that really changes everything around. Like, the first one's kind of like this, you know, jungle kind of style game, and then the next one kind of goes into a time warp of sci-fi style with spaceships and stuff. I don't know, each game feels remarkably different to another. If you've never played these titles, Jack and Daxter basically are two friends on an epic journey to find the Precursor's legacy. The Precursor's being mythological beings from the past. On their quest, they'll journey to a range of different worlds, battle some dastardy villains and smash a lot of boxes. The story is simple enough, but it's littered with non-stop action and hilarity. A perfect time to get into the series, or if you've played them already, some great nostalgia. And that's my game recommendation for the week!